okay so let's take a look at how you can simulate a key press and change the gaming background based on that key press so to show you what I mean I will open gdevelop okay so I have created one sample project and added one scene into it okay so when I click on the scene currently I have set the background to white okay if you want to add any item can simply add a sprite let's see I want to add a icon name background let's add animation and let's see if I choose this icon right and click on apply now let me save this and drop this icon on screen so I have two options with this icon so let's see if I want to put icons like this on top and I can use a key press or cursor press on this icon okay we can also use a shortcut key press okay by doing that we can change the background okay so we go to events right then we add condition okay that let's see Here you can see keyboard key pressed okay now here we have to check for that key let's say B for background change key click on ok right now when this B key is pressed what we will do is we will add one action go to other actions and here go to scene and change its background color Okay, now here you can choose from let's say this blue or any other color okay now save this okay now go back to your main scene and let's run this okay now here you can see I have set this icon at the top you can choose depending on your game some people use the top some use bottom some use simple one button and then open menu so depending on that you can choose so currently you can see I didn't add any action for this particular icon so pressing this won't result in any but if I press B it will change the background okay so to simulate that you can also use one more condition right so we can choose add condition choose our object background now let's take a look at what are our options okay so can check for mouse okay mouse button is pressed or touch held so choose an option left button pressed on that object okay so touch or left button is down okay right so let's check for that our object is set condition mouse button press and click ok right so here you can add action let's say scene change background scene to let's say some green ok now we will go back to the main scene now here let me run the project Okay, so let's press on this and you can see our mouse press also works okay so you can add some sort of color wheel here and then you can press on that particular icon and then that should change the color okay there is also some JavaScript that you can write that will invoke the color wheel and based on that you can let users select that particular color and then 
press on that particular color and get the background changed okay so that is also possible so I have shown you two ways to do that you can choose okay the mouse option or you can choose that keyboard simulation option okay so keyboard simulations is good when you have limited options and you don't want to give too many options to user then go with keyboard shortcut and if you want to give option to user then use this mouse press and give it multiple options to choose from okay and if you're good with JavaScript you can also have some sort of color wheel okay so based on that you can click on that and choose the hex code okay and that value here you can see RGB values are here so you have to program your JavaScript ex extension based on that okay so that it can take these values and then it can change your background here okay so basically there are multiple ways to solve this problem so the problem here was allowing user to change the background or your scene background based on that input okay so we have covered the keyboard shortcut and also covered the mouse press or you can say mouse button press or release action okay so these are two methods that you can do with your games and change the background like say in this case mouse action okay so I hope you find this useful.